Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It's time for On Deck Baseball with a refreshing beverage, I might add. Mm -mm. My Bulls, the team I am simming in the On Deck Baseball season, are off to a good two and one start after their first series of play. But it's time for the home opener. Will they continue their winning ways? Let's find out and get to today's starting lineups. But before I do, don't forget that in the description for this video is a link to channel membership. With channel membership, you get access to members only videos, a discount on the secondary store, and a free gift for me every month in the form of PDFs that I create for cards and dice sims. Also in the description for this video is the link to On Deck Baseball, so you can check that out if you would be so interested. So with no further ado, let's take a look at the Bulls and today's game in our simulation. It is April 5th of our young season and time for game number four. The Bulls started out with a win on opening day against the Gators. Lost game two, won game three, and we are up to April 5th where we start our first series at home against the, which happens to be against the Drillers. It's a three game homestand before we hit the road again to take on the Hornets. So uh, let's take a look at how things are going so far and what's going on with the Drillers. The Drillers lineup features Michael Nelson leading off in left field, Raul Miranda batting second in right field, Mark Haggerty batting third at first base, Rico Morales bats fourth, he'll do the catching, Bob McPherson bats fifth, he's playing second, Martin Reed bat sixth, he will be at third. Jose Juarez bat seventh, he is the DH. Vincent Melendez will bat eighth, he's playing short. And Dave Schultz bats ninth, he is the center fielder. On the mound, it's Ray Brown. He's getting his first start of the season. He's a right-hander. He has a value of 72. He's a minus three against lefties and a minus four against righties. A pretty darn good fourth starter. For the Bulls, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Paul Moody is leading off. He's four for 14 in the first three games of the season. Paul Moody is in center field. Dave Bryant, probably the MVP so far. He is six for 12. He's the right fielder batting second. Pancho Carmona is playing first. He is four for 11 and he's batting third. Bill Scrooby is the DH. He's three out of his first 10. He's batting cleanup. Leroy Ramey bats fifth. He's the left fielder, and he is one for 13 in the early going. Juan Ventura batting sixth. He's the catcher. He's two for his first seven. Carl Phelps bats seventh. He is two for five, and he is playing third base. Chris Lane is the second sacker. He's batting eighth, and he's three out of his first 11. And Robert Bartlett, six for his first 12. He's the shortstop, and he's batting ninth. On the mound for the Bulls, and I messed up my order here. So let me find my starting pitcher, and that is Rob McGregor. It is Rob McGregor's first start of the season. He is a right-hander. He's value of 63. He has a stamina of four. He's a minus two against lefties and a minus three against righties. Rob McGregor starts it against Michael Nelson, and this is gonna be uh, swung on by Nelson, and it is a line drive, and it is hit to Chris Lane at second, and that is out number one in the top of the first. The Bulls fans going nuts on opening day. Raul Miranda up there now, the delivery from McGregor. Miranda uh, hits it on the ground. This goes to shortstop Bartlett, and he fires to Pancho Carmona for out number two. 
Mark Hegarty is up there now. The delivery from McGregor. Hegarty is gonna swing and we have a possible error check here. And this is ball four. So I'm going to take the liberty of negating the error check and just taking the walk. And that is a two out walk for the drillers. They have a base runner and here is Rico Morales. McGregor's delivery to the drillers catcher, Morales. Uh, lines a base hit. This goes to center field. And stopping at second will be Hagerty. Two are on for the drillers in the top of the first. That'll bring up second baseman McPherson. Bobby McPherson, the fifth place hitter for the drillers. The delivery by McGregor. And McPherson. Uh, hits one in the air and it goes to right field and that will be out number three the drillers get a couple of base runners they even get a base hit but they fail to score in the first we go to the bottom of the first it's the drillers nothing and the bulls coming to bat in the home opener opening day april 5th Ray Brown will face Moody, Bryant, and Carmona in the Bulls' first inning. And the delivery from Brown to Moody will be strike three swinging. That's not a good start for the Bulls' offense. Moody is down on strikes, and it'll bring up uh, Dave Bryant. The right fielder who's gotten the big hits in the early going for the Bulls. Brown kicks and delivers to Bryant. Uh, and Bryant swings and he's gonna line this one inside the left field line. It's gonna rattle around in the corner. Dave Bryant around first, heading to second. He's got a one out double. And his hot hitting just continues. Here's Pancho Carmona. Um, Carmona looking for him to provide the power for the Bulls this year. And that is going to be swung on and hit on the air by Pancho to right. And that will be out number two, bringing up Bill Scrooby. Chance to drive home Bryant, but we need a clutch hit. The delivery from Brown is swung on by Scrooby and he popped him up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Shortstop in short left field is gonna make the catch for out number three. Nothing across, a hit, but nothing across. For the Bulls in the first, we go to the second. We have no score on opening day. Second inning coming, it's Reed, Juarez, and Melendez coming up for the drillers. Rob McGregor kicks and delivers. Martin Reed uh, hits one in the air. This goes to right field, and that'll be out number one. Juarez, the DH, comes to the plate. The delivery, and that will be... Uh, hit on the ground. It goes to third, and that will be out number two in the Drillers' second inning. Vincent Melendez comes to the plate with nobody on. The delivery by Rob McGregor. And Melendez hits it on the ground. It goes to short. That's Bartlett. He throws to Carmona, and it's a one, two, three second for Rob McGregor. Got to kind of piece together the Bulls pitching staff in the early going. We lost our our ace, Daryl Edwards, on opening day. So we're waiting for him to come back. Starting pitching a little bit on the thin side. In the bullpen, frankly, not much better. But we're making it through. It'll be Rami, Ventura, and Phelps coming up in the second. The delivery by Ray Brown. 
is and Ramy's having all kinds of problems, but he draws a walk against Brown to lead off the second. So the Bulls have a base runner that'll bring up Ventura. Juan Ventura, the catcher. He has won the job in the early going. We'll see if he can hold it. The delivery by Brown is drilled by Ventura, and this one is going to go down into the left center field gap. Around second is Ramy. He's going to go to third. It's second and third for the Bulls with nobody out in the top of the second. Golden opportunity to get on the board, and here's third baseman Carl Phelps. Brown the stretch and the delivery to Phelps. He needs a strikeout is what he needs, and this is hit on the ground. Uh, it goes to third. That's going to hold Ramy at third. The throw to first is in time to get Phelps by a step, and there's one down in the Bulls' second inning. Now Chris Lane comes to the plate. Brown kicks and deals. Chris Lane swings, and it's a base hit for Lane. Goes right back through the box. A single to center. Ramy scores from third. Stopping at third will be Ventura. There's Bulls at the corners, and it's one nothing for the Bulls in on opening day in the bottom of the second. So Bartlett comes to the plate. The driller's infield is going to play at double play depth. The delivery by Brown to Bartlett is swung on by Bartlett and a base hit. This will score Ventura from third. Stopping at second is Lane. Another clutch hit by Bobby Bartlett. Uh, two are on with one out, and the Bulls have something going here in the second. Ray Brown in trouble. One gone in the second. Brown the stretch. The pitch to Paul Moody. Moody swings and checks his swing. First base umpire Ronnie Millsap says no swing. And Moody will take his base with a walk. They're loaded with Bulls. It's Lane at third. Bartlett at second. Moody at first. Good speed on the bases for Dave Bryant. There is stirring in the driller's bullpen, but nobody's throwing yet. The infield is at double play depth. There's one man out. Brown the stretch. He checks the runners. The delivery to Dave Bryant is hit on the ground. This goes to uh, the shortstop. Vincent Melendez gloves it, and he goes to second for one. And the relay by Bobby McPherson is not in time. Bryant beats the rap at first. So it will be a 6-4 put out on Moody. Lane will score. It's 3-0 Bulls. And going to third is Bartlett. The Bulls have runners at the corners now with two outs. And Pancho Carmona coming to the plate. Ray Brown trying to wriggle his way out of the inning. The pitch to Carmona, and hey, struck him out. He got him on a bender, and that's going to retire the Bulls in the second. But they get three runs on three hits. They leave two, uh, and we go to the third with your score. The Bulls three, and the Drillers nothing. Center fielder Dave Schultz will lead it off for the Drillers in the top of the third. He's the nine hitter. Then we'll go to the top with Nelson and Miranda. Rob McGregor kicks and delivers to the Drillers center fielder, and he strikes him out. Rob McGregor with his first strikeout. One down in the Drillers third. Michael Nelson comes to the plate. McGregor winds and deals to him. Nelson uh, swings and hits it on the ground. It goes to third. And he throws to Carmona. And there's two away. Rob McGregor now has retired six in a row. McGregor winds and deals to Raul Miranda. And Miranda hits it on the ground. It goes right back to Rob McGregor. He gloves it. Flips to Carmona, and the side is retired in the third. We go to the bottom of three, and your score is the Bulls three, and the Drillers nothing on opening day. Brown is looking for a 
An inning to settle things down here, a recovery inning. He'll face Scrooby, Ramy, and Ventura, four, five, six batters in my order uh, in the bottom of the third inning. Brown winds and deals, and Bill Scrooby uh, hits a line drive. This goes to shortstop, and it's caught for out number one. Ticketed for left field, but he made a good play. One down in the, in the third. Leroy Ramey walked and scored just last inning. The delivery by Brown. And Ramey hits it on the ground to second base. And there's two away. That'll bring up Juan Ventura, the catcher. Ray Brown deals to Ventura. And Ventura drills this one to left and deep. This has a chance to get out of here, and it's gone. A solo blast for Ventura. His second hit of the day, it's 4 nothing Bulls. Ray Brown is leaking oil on the mound. Carl Phelps comes to the plate. Brown kicks and delivers to Phelps. Uh, and Phelps strikes out swinging for out number three. So Brown gets out of it, but not before allowing another run. A bomb from Ventura, who is now two for two. We go to the fourth, and your score is the Bulls four, and, and the Drillers nothing. And we will see if Rob McPherson can continue his impressive start here on opening day. My patchwork pitching staff is getting it done in the early part of the season. All right, Mark Hagerty is going to lead off. He'll be followed by Morales and McPherson. The windup and the delivery by McGregor is swung on by Hagerty and hit in the air. This goes to center field. And that's Moody, and that's out number one. Eight in a row retired now by Rob McGregor. Coming to the plate is Rico Morales. McGregor kicks and delivers to Morales, and this is hit on the ground by Rico. Hit to Lane at second. He flips to Carmona at first, and there's two away. That's nine in a row retired by Rob McGregor. And let me tell you, my friends, nobody is more surprised than I than I am, except maybe Rob McGregor's mom. I think she's probably a little bit stunned as well. The pitch by McGregor to McPherson is swung on by McPherson, and this is check swing ball four. First base umpire uh, Helen Keller says no swing, and down to first goes Rob McPherson. Martin Reed, the DH, is up there now. McGregor the stretch, the pitch to Reed. And as soon as I say that, of course, we've got another base hit for Martin Reed. Stopping at second is McPherson. Two are on with two outs, and Juarez comes to the plate. McGregor trying to get out of the fourth. The stretch by Rob and the delivery to the drillers catcher, or DH, excuse me, the drillers DH. And that is going to be... Ball four, he walked him. The bases are loaded with drillers, but there are two outs. McGregor is struggling to get out of the fourth inning. Vincent Melendez comes to the plate. The stretch by McGregor and the delivery to Melendez. It is swung on and hit on the ground by Melendez. It's a comebacker to Rob McGregor. He turns and flips to Carmona, and the side is retired in the fourth. You go to the bottom of four, and your score is the Bulls four and the Drillers nothing. All right, Ray Brown's going to try and get the ship back on course here in the bottom of the fourth. The Drillers are trailing four nothing. Lane, Bartlett, and Moody are coming up for the Bulls. And the delivery to Chris Lane is strike three swinging. Ray Brown has retired six of his last seven hitters. But, of course, the one was the home run by Ventura. So, Brown winds and deals to Bartlett. And Bobby Bartlett with a base hit. This goes to right field. Bartlett going the other way. Another base hit for the shortstop. 
One on, one out for the Bulls in the bottom of the fourth. That'll bring up Paul Moody, the center fielder. Ray Brown, the stretch, the pitch to Moody. And Moody uh, hits a base hit. This is off the shortstop's glove into short left field. Stopping at second is Bartlett. There's two on with one out in the fourth, and Bryant comes to the plate. And that's going to get action going in the Drillers' bullpen as the hit parade just keeps coming for the Bulls today. So we'll take a look at that Drillers' bullpen and see who we got. Um... Actually, the Drillers have a good pitching staff, and Jiro Uchmaya is going to get starting to throw for the Drillers. He's a right-hander, and uh, I guess that's all they're going to do at this moment. But Brown is in trouble. There's two on with one out. The delivery to Dave Bryant is swung on by Bryant. And this is going to be uh, maybe an error check. Uh, but no, it's hit to right and deep. Bryant going oppo and it is gone. A three-run bomb for Bryant. And that is going to, we got to check the poise rating here for Ray Brown. And I think they got to get him out of there. Let's see. Um, no effect on his poi, on his uh, stamina, but it is now Bulls 7, Drillers nothing on opening day and the fans going nuts. Here's Pancho Carmona. Brown trying to hang on. Uh, Uchmaya is not ready yet. Brown deals. And Carmona strikes out for the second time in the game. That's the fifth strikeout for Brown. And it'll bring up Scrooby. Brown deals to Scrooby. Scrooby swings and hits one on the ground. Goes to short. The throw to first. And the Bulls are done in the fourth. But they get three runs on three hits and Ray Brown limps off the field trailing the Bulls seven to nothing after four innings of work. I think we're going to see a new drillers pitcher coming on in inning number five. But we go to the fifth and we have to check Rob McGregor's uh, stamina. So let's do that. Uh, this is his fatigue chart. And we roll the five, and that's gonna be minus one. So McGregor's numbers go down to a minus one versus lefties and a minus two versus righties. <clears throat> Starting to fatigue. Driller's bullpen is getting busy again. Uchmaya is taking a seat. And I'm out. Millard Moore is warming up in the Drillers bullpen. He's a left-hander. We'll tell you more about him in the bottom of the inning. For now, McGregor has to face Schultz, Nelson, and Miranda in the Drillers' fifth, seven-nothing lead for Rob McGregor. The windup and the delivery to Dave Schultz is hit in the air to center. Paul Moody pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number one in the Driller fifth. Michael Nelson, the leadoff batter, is 0 for 2. He's up there now. McGregor winds and deals to Nelson. And he struck him out on a bender. He gave him the old jelly leg on that one. And there's two away in the driller's fifth. That's going to bring up Raul Miranda with no sign of a hat with fruit on it. And if you know what I'm talking about, God bless you. Minus two for Miranda. The windup in the delivery by McGregor is hit in the air by Miranda, and it goes to right. And that will be out number three. McGregor seems to have recovered from a shaky fourth inning. 
We're halfway through, and your score on opening day, and your score is the Bulls seven and the Drillers uh, nothing. The Drillers have what the little boys shot at, nothing. All right, so we have a new Drillers pitcher coming on, and that is going to be Millard Moore. Millard Moore is a left-hander. He's a minus four against lefties, a minus three against righties. Um, and he has a stamina of four. So he's their one of their long relief men. And so we have a minus four and a minus three. I'll write that there. And we'll have Rami, Ventura, and Phelps coming up. The five, six, seven batters for the Bulls in inning number five in the bottom of the fifth. All righty. The wind-up and the delivery by Moore, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be uh, swung on by Rami, and that is hit on the ground. Goes to third. He fires to first, and there's one away in the bottom of the fifth. Rami's struggles continue. He is now at one for 15. Juan Ventura is two for two. Moore winds and deals to him. And Ventura strikes out for out number two in the bottom of the fifth. Moore is bringing it in the early going here. Carl Phelps comes to the plate. He's 0 for two. Moore deals to him. And Phelps hits it in the air. This goes to left. That's going to be out number three, and the Bulls are done in the bottom of the fifth. We go to the sixth, and your score is the Bulls seven, and the Drillers nothing on opening day. Let's see what the fatigue effect is on Mr. McGregor here, <clears throat> who's throwing a shutout through five innings. But you got to piece together this Bulls pitching staff. It's part of the fun of on-deck baseball is really not only learning about the players, but you're the owner, you're the general manager, you're the manager, you're the scout, you're the whole ball of wax. And uh, it's fun, fun stuff. The link is in the description for this video to check that out. All right, so we're gonna do the fatigue chart check here. And that is a nine and that's gonna be a minus one. So now, McGregor is down to a zero against lefties and a minus one against righties. So the leash is getting shorter for Rob McGregor. Going to try and keep him going, though. That's one of the things I'm trying to do is to stay with my starters so I don't burn out my bullpen. But we'll see if that works. It'll be Haggerty, Morales, and McPherson, the meat, if that's the expression I'm looking for, of the driller's order in the sixth inning. McGregor winds and deals to Haggerty. And Haggerty pops it up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Pancho Carmona is under it, and he's got it for out number one. Rico Morales is one for two. The Drillers only have two hits, and Morales has one of them. McGregor winds and deals to Rico. And Rico strikes out swinging. Rob McGregor gets him on a slider, and that's two down in the Drillers' sixth. Bobby McPherson comes to the plate. They call him Mac. The wind-up and the delivery by McGregor to McPherson. A lot of Irish going on here on the in the uh, battle. And this will be... Swung on and missed by McPherson for strikeout number four for McGregor, and he survives the sixth inning, and that may be as far as I want to attempt fate with Rob McGregor, but we'll see what happens. We go to the seventh, and your score is the Bulls, or bottom of the sixth, excuse me, bottom of the sixth coming, and it's the Bulls seven and the Drillers nothing. Chris Lane, Bobby Bartlett, and Paul Moody coming up in the... Uh, Bulls sixth inning against reliever Millard Moore. The wind up and the delivery by Moore.
to Chris Lane is swung on by Lane and it's drilled inside that first base bag. Gonna rattle around in the right field corner. Lane around first, he's gonna cruise into second with a leadoff double in the sixth. And the onslaught by the Bulls continues. Bartlett is two for two, he is eight for 14 in the early going, he is on fire. Moore's, uh, Moore to the stretch, checks Lane at second and the delivery to Bartlett. And of course, as soon as I say that, <laughs> And Bartlett, no, with another hit. Stopping at third will be Lane. There's Bulls at the corners with nobody out. And here's Paul Moody. They're threatening to make a runaway of it on opening day. Paul Moody at the plate. More the stretch. The infield is going to play back at double play depth. The stretch by Moore in the delivery to Paul Moody. is swung on and hit in the air. This goes to right field, not deep. It's caught for out number one, and Lane will hold at third. Bryant comes to the plate, double play depth through the infield. The stretch by Moore and the delivery to Dave Bryant is hit on the ground. This might be trouble for the Bulls anyway. Uh, it's hit to third. Reed has it at third. He's going to fire to second for one. And they get Bartlett at second. The relay to first to double up Dave Bryant. Turning by McPherson is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing around the horn and inning ending. 5 4 3 double play turned by the drillers. So Millard Moore gets the first two base runners on and then wriggles his way off the hook. We go to the seventh inning and your score is the Bulls seven and the Drillers nothing. And we have a new Bulls pitcher. It's Enrique Morin <clears throat> making his first appearance of the season, excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, he is a right-hander. He has a value of 64, a stamina of 1. And he is minus 3 against righties, minus 4 against... Minus 3 against lefties, minus 4 against righties. Um, he is taking over for Rob McPherson, who uh, is done for the... Rob McGregor, excuse me. He is done for the day. Six innings of work. Two hits allowed. He walked three men. He struck out four. He allowed no runs. Can't ask for much more from Rob McGregor on opening day than that. And so we're not going to. We're not going to tempt fate. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to Enrique and give him some work. Bottom of the seventh. The Bulls are leading 7 nothing. He's got Reed, Juarez, and Melendez coming up in the seventh inning. And so let's see how old Enrique fares against the drillers. The wind up by Warren and the delivery is going to be trouble. That's a base hit for Martin Reed and a good start for the drillers in the seventh, their third hit of the day. Jose Juarez comes up. He's 0 for 1. The stretch by Morin and the delivery to Juarez is uh, swung on by Juarez. And this is... Check swing, ball four. Helen Keller one more time says no swing. And Juarez goes down to first. There's two on with nobody out in the seventh. Golden opportunity for the drillers to get on the board here. Here's Vincent Melendez. More in the stretch and the delivery to Melendez. And Melendez pops it up. This is shortstop Bartlett in short center field, calling and taking for out number one. Runners hold, and now uh, Schultz will be up the center fielder. More in the stretch. Schultz is 0 for 2. More in the stretch, and the delivery to Dave Schultz is hit in the air. And this is to right, dying quail. And that will be out number two. Coming up now is the leadoff batter, 
Michael Nelson, the left fielder. Morin, a good pitch from getting out of this mini jam. Morin, the stretch, and the pitch to Nelson. Nelly swings and hits it on the ground. He rolls it to short. This is Bartlett. He's going to go the short way to lane, and that's going to retire the drillers in the seventh. It's time to stretch them out on opening day for the Bulls. They are getting the job done. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and your score is the Bulls seven and the drillers nothing. It'll be the meat of the Bulls order. Carmona, Scrooby, and Ramy coming up against Millard Moore in inning number seven. Uh, Carmona is 0 for 3 with a pair of punch outs, so he's going for the hat trick right here in this at bat. More wines and deals. Carmona swings, and Carmona hits one to left and deep. This has a chance to get out of here, and it's gone. Eight nothing Bulls on opening day. Wowzers, the party is going on in the stands right now. Billy Scrooby comes to the plate. He's 0 for 3. The pitch from Moore to Scrooby is strike three swinging. Moore comes back with a bender and makes Scrooby look sick. One down in the seventh. That'll bring up Rami. Mired in a slump of one for 15 proportions. Moore winds and deals. Rami uh, strikes out and the agonies for Leroy Rami continue. Now it's Ventura. The wind-up by Moore and the delivery to Ventura is strike three swinging. He got him. And he strikes out the side after allowing the leadoff homer to Carmona. So in the seventh, the Bulls extend their lead to an 8 nothing party on opening day. We go to the eighth inning and your score, Bulls eight, Drillers nothing. The Bulls putting it all together on opening day. A fatigue chart check on Morin here. See if we can keep him going. And it's a minus two for him. So that's going to knock him down to a minus one against lefties and a minus two against righties. Um, but we're going to leave him in there. It'll be Miranda, Haggerty, and Morales coming up in the eighth for the Drillers. Morin's delivery, Miranda uh, swings and hits it on the ground. This goes to Lane at second. Chris to his left, cuts it off from going into right field. Plants and throws to Carmona for out number one. Now it's Mark Haggerty. And Morin delivers. Haggerty draws a walk with one out in the eighth. Morales comes to the plate. There is stirring in the Bulls' bullpen, but nobody's throwing yet. The wind or the stretch by Morin. And the delivery to Rico Morales is indeed hit on the ground back to Enrique Morin. Morin is going to go to lane for one. Let's see if he, if he gets Haggerty going to second. Oh, wait, and he does get Haggerty automatically going to second. Lane takes the throw and fires to Carmona. And they get the double play. My goodness, it's all going on for the Bulls in this one. A comebacker to Morin turns into a 1-6-3 rally-killing, soul-crushing double play turned by the Bulls. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and it's the Bulls eight, and the Drillers uh, nothing. Willard Moore going to come out for the bottom of the eighth. He's gone three innings. He's allowed three hits, one of them a bomb. He has struck out four. He hasn't walked anybody. He allowed one run. It's earned. So he's mopping up today, and it'll be Phelps, Lane, and Bartlett, the bottom of the Bulls order in the bottom of the eighth. Moore deals to Carl Phelps. And Phelps hits it in the air to center and deep. And the onslaught continues. Schultz to the wall and it's gone. Nine nothing Bulls. The party continues on opening day for the Bulls. Chris Lane comes to the plate. More wines and deals to Chris Lane. 
and it's a ground ball hit to second. That's McPherson, and he throws to first, and there's one out in the eighth. Robert Bartlett with a big three for three opening day is up there now. The pitch by Moore to Bartlett is a line drive base hit, a four for four opening day for Bartlett. He's on fire. Don't touch him. You'll get a third degree burn. It's Paul Moody coming to the plate. He's one for three. More the stretch. The pitch to Moody. And he struck him out. Number five for Moore. Kind of an up and down performance for Millard Moore. Bryant comes to the plate next. He is two for four. More the stretch. The delivery to Bryant. And Bryant hits this one on the ground. It goes to short. He's going to go the short way to second. And that will retire the Bulls in the eighth. But they add still another run and don't have the ability to keep any of these runs for our next game. Uh, we go to the ninth. It's the Bulls nine. And the Drillers nothing. McPherson, Reed, and Juarez coming up for the Drillers in the ninth. Enrique Moore in. We're gonna we're gonna try and squeeze one more inning out of old Enrique. Give him tomorrow off. Might not even have him come to the ballpark tomorrow. Okay, minus two. Yeah, geez. So we're plus one for lefties and we're at zero for righties. That seems like it's tempting fate. So we're gonna take him out and look to uh, give our bullpen some additional work. Salas is going to finish the mop-up escapade for the Bulls. He's a left-hander with a value of 63. He's got a stamina of 2, minus 2 against lefties, minus 4 against righties, so he's kind of a reverse lefty. We'll call him a slider specialist. Uh, and he will face McPherson, Reed, and Juarez in the Drillers' ninth inning. The wind-up by Salas McPherson is going to draw a walk. Lead-off walk in the ninth for the Drillers. Manager, owner, and general manager, Kurt Berglund doesn't like that. All right, Martin Reed coming up. The wind-up by Salas and the delivery to Reed. Is swung on and hit in the air by Martin Reed. It's to right, and there's one down in the ninth inning. Juarez comes up. He's 0 for 1 with a pair of walks. Salas, the stretch, the delivery to Juarez. And it's a ground ball. It is hit to Bartlett at short. Bartlett flips to lane for 1. And Chris Lane's relay to first base is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing, and game ending 6 4 3 double play turned by the Bulls. Let's give you the totals on this whitewashing of the drillers. All right, so nothing across for the drillers uh, in the ninth. The Your totals go like this for the drillers no runs on three hits and they committed no errors we had no errors in the game the bulls really stuck it to them it's uh, nine runs on 13 base hits and they had no errors uh the loss goes to ray brown the victory Nice work by Rob McGregor in six innings of work on opening day. Very impressive. With the victory, the Bulls here on April 5th improved their record to 3-1 and one on the young season. And game two, our next game, will be April 6th and continue with the second of a three-game series against these same drillers. On Deck Baseball, the link is in the description for this video, as is the link to channel membership. Check those out. But for now, your final from Bulls Country, it's the Bulls 9 and the Drillers nothing. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.